Their history is a bit of a head shaker. They actually had several friends in common. They should have met probably a year before they did. Courtney didn't go to a party, Ryan went to it. Ryan didn't go to a party, Courtney went to it. It wasn't until the internet brought them together. So, like all other millennials, they started dating online. So Courtney and Ryan had their first date. She really liked him. I remember her coming home and saying, he's a great guy, but you know what? Mm. I live in Gross Point. He lives in Auburn Hills. It's 45 minutes away, Amp Hill. It's just so geographically undesirable. I don't know if I can do this. So a couple months go by and she thinks, hmm, 45 minutes, it's not that long to be in the car for this great guy. So I'm gonna give him a call, reach out to him, see if he's still available. Do you think he wasn't gonna be available for this? So Ryan and Courtney start dating. And as soon as they start dating, he decides to move to Alabama. 45 minutes to Auburn Hills was too far, but Alabama's fine. <laughs> So they continue their journey of love and Ryan is, I don't know, I don't know what he is. I think he's like in the secret service or something. I don't know. He's, it's, you know, it's, it's a mystery. <laughs> Courtney is a tomboy gone beauty blogger. And what you don't know is that Courtney loves Disney movies. And right now I feel like we have secret service agent dating. Disney princess. They're living their own Disney movie as we speak. So I'm so proud to be standing here today celebrating this joyous day. My niece Courtney is beautiful on the inside and the outside and truly one of the most resilient people I know. We think the world of Ryan, and we are so thankful for modern technology bringing you two millennials together. Ryan, your secret agents of sorts. Courtney, your beauty vlogging. May you all have a real life Disney movie and have the happiest of ever afters. Cheers to Courtney and Ryan. Come here rejoicing to the house of the Lord, St. Paul on the Lake Catholic Church, for this celebration. Dear brothers and sisters, we stand with Courtney and Ryan on the day they intend to form a home of their own for them. This is a moment of the most unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, our friendship, and most importantly, our prayers as their brothers and sisters in the Lord.
I would first like to thank everyone for coming out tonight in celebration of the union of Courtney and Ryan. I'd also like to thank the parents for all uh, the bride and groom for raising such amazing children. I have known Ryan since middle school, uh, so a better part of 20 years, and about half those years were spent uh, getting in trouble together. But it wasn't all just mischief and potential trespassing misdemeanors. Ryan is a great friend and a genuine person who cares for his friends, family, and loved ones. He is the type of person who, re who would reach out to you uh, if he hadn't heard from you in a while. He would ask you how you're doing, how you're feeling, how your family was doing, when you can get on Counter-Strike in the middle of the night. But he genuinely cared for everyone. All right, cheers, fellas. Thanks for being here with me today. Cheers, cheers. Courtney and Ryan. Courtney and Ryan. Courtney and Ryan. Ryan. Cheers. cheers. So tonight, to Ryan, uh, I am proud to stand next to you and as you and watch you marry the love of your life. It's been a long road, but I know the two of you will walk together hand in hand. And to Courtney, I can see how incredibly happy you may have made Ryan. He loves to talk about you and loves to talk about the experiences you two together down in Alabama. You make a very great couple, and I'm excited to hear uh, what adventures you two will embark on in the next chapter of your lives together. I'd like to end the night with just a few lines that Ryan has shared on many occasions that have resonated with me. Because sometimes things will bend you, but trust me, you'll be fine. Because I've been moving mountains that I once had to climb. And life's not out to get you, despite the things you've been through. Because what you give is what you get. Life is not out to get you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I would please let's say, please raise your toast as we chose the happy couple, Courtney and Ryan. Thank you. of you that don't know me, I am Megan Brandon, Ryan's younger sister, and now sister-in-law to Courtney Brandon. I just love saying that. Um, I knew Courtney was special from the very beginning, mostly because my brother had texted me right after their first date telling me all about this girl he had just gone out with, which is something he had never done before after any other dating experience. And that's when he said to me, you might know her. She's a year older than you. She went to Gross Point South. Her name is Courtney Warner. I told him, Ryan, not only do I know her, we've hung out. We have photos together. <laughs> it turns out that Courtney and I had met four years earlier while celebrating her birthday and the birthday of a mutual friend. And though we only met the one time, uh, I never forgot Courtney because besides the obvious of her being beautiful and talented, she's also so incredibly kind and funny and I am beyond thrilled that you are officially a part of the family. And even though neither of our fathers could be here with us tonight, I can say with full confidence that our dad would have loved you. And he and our mother raised a son that I believe your father would have loved as well. Because Ryan is going to love, cherish, and protect you for the rest of his life. So I love you both so much and thank you everyone for being here with us tonight. Cheers. Hi Ryan. Take you Courtney. Take you Courtney. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in, and in, bad. in sickness and in health, 
in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you, to love you and honor you, all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Courtney, take you, Ryan. Take you, Ryan. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful. I promise to be faithful with you. Good and bad. With good times and a bad. In sickness. And with sickness. And in health. And in health. To love you. To love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days. All the days. Of my life. Of my life. <laughs> Courtney, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ryan, receive this ring as a sign to be a sign with my love and fidelity in the name of the Father. And we ask Almighty God's blessing the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. It is my great blessing to introduce to you for the first time this beautiful bride and groom as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.